Float On Corporation is a family business that has been building high quality boat trailers for generations. Recently I worked directly with Float On in developing a premium quality kayak trailer suitable for interstate speeds and trailering long distances for traveling kayakers and specifically tournament anglers. Working with the experiences of other kayak anglers on their wishes for that perfect trailer and with Float On engineers with what was actually feasible, the end result is a substantial trailer that can withstand the rigors of over the road travel and handle daily commutes with ease but yet still be at a price point that most serious kayakers wishing to have the safest trailer will find easily palatable. The platform of the trailer is a load appropriate torsion axle. An appropriate weight axle is paramount as the load of the kayaks is significantly lighter than that of a boat or PWC. However, for interstate travel, a substantial trailer gives a more suitable ride at interstate speeds. All aluminum construction ensures a lifetime of solid use and will hold its value far into the future. As the trailer in these photographs is a prototype, there have been some advances made for the actual production trailer and you'll note some variation. 12 inch marine grade galvanized wheels are included as are highway speed rated tires and lightweight plastic fenders as shown here. The typical stamp steel small diameter utility trailer tires are not appropriate for long distances or highway speeds, nor are the bicycle tire type trailer tires. The front A-frame portion of this trailer is shorter and at a much sharper angle than your typical boat trailer. Now the reason for this is when you're working in the front of your kayak you don't want to be banging your shins on those I-beams at the A-frame. So with it being a little bit shorter you're able to reach around the front of the kayak without bumping your knees. The overall length of this prototype trailer is about 199 inches. With the kayaks on top, this is about the same length as a Chevy Tahoe. It'll fit in a normal two-car garage, and it'll also fit in a normal parking space at a hotel or at your apartment. A lot of the overall length is actually in the tongue and coupler. Now this is basically to allow for a longer trailer to allow easier backing. A longer trailer is just easier to back than a shorter, a shorter trailer and it's a lot easier to see your kayaks as you're backing up. All hardware and fasteners are stainless steel. Float On used the same construction techniques to build this trailer as they would to build a trailer that would carry something such as a 42 foot yellowfin. This trailer was designed to carry the kayaks above the fenders. Now this does a couple of different things. First of all, since the kayaks aren't in between the fenders, it can be just a little bit narrower. Also, the kayaks are at a nice, comfortable, waist-high level so that any rigging you're doing in the garage or at home or at the boat ramp, everything is right there at a nice, comfortable, waist-high level. Also, because it's a real comfortable height, lifting and loading or unloading is real simple with two people. Since the height is a little bit lower than a normal truck tailgate, it's real simple for one person to load as well. Load the bow in, slide them up onto the bunks, and you're ready to go. The trailer bunks are marine grade 2x6 covered in marine carpet laid on the flat. This allows you to have a larger surface area to be able to lay your kayaks on. It also gives those who wish to put kayak trailering cradles on top plenty of surface area to install those cradles. All the trailer wiring is marine grade wiring. All the pinch points are loomed and the wiring running down the length of the trailer is attached so that there is no sagging or dislodging of the wiring. Trailer lights are marine grade sealed submersible LED lights. This trailer has an optional locking aluminum storage box. The box is large enough to accommodate two Mirage Drive units as well as other equipment that you want to keep out of harm's way. Plenty of room inside the storage box for two Mirage Drive units and as is going to be shown in a few minutes the folding overhead rigging light also fits inside this locking storage box. There's plenty of room for life jackets, tackle boxes, other equipment as well. The overall width of this prototype trailer is about 88 inches. 
which is enough room to accommodate two Hobie Pro Anglers side by side, still allow room in between so they don't rub, and a little bit of room on either side so that loading and unloading is done quite simply, and you can easily attach the strap. As Float On makes trailers for the marine industry, all of the equipment, hardware, attachments, fasteners are all marine grade, including the torsion axle, hubs, and all attachment hardware. This is something every kayak angler is going to be very excited about. It's an aluminum overhead rigging light consisting of a 10 bulb LED overhead light, a folding aluminum shaft that stores in the storage box. It runs off of the trailer wiring and attaches through a small harness. So when the light is out and attached and in place, it attaches to the trailer wiring and gives you overhead light. Then it folds up and goes right into the storage box and it's out of the way. The overhead light attaches near the trailer coupler and attaches quickly with a simple wing nut and with a, with a wiring connector that's in place uh, attaches to the existing trailer wiring with just a simple plug, a simple unplug, fold it up and put it in the storage box for storage. The trailer includes DOT side markers as well as the typical tail light. The tops of the bunks are smooth with all attachment hardware being recessed. This allows you to load or unload the kayaks, slide them from side to side so that you can load or unload from either side. The straps are attached to the bunks with U-bolts from the underside. This way your straps are always in place and ready to go. They're also in the proper position so that you know when your kayaks are centered on your left and your right side. Straps are there, just cinch them down and you're ready to go. The big question is, what does a trailer like this cost? Uh, retail should be between $1,500 and $2,000. Uh, contact your local kayak dealer or boat dealer for ordering a Float On trailer. If you wish to become a dealer, contact Float On at floaton.com. <laughs>